And welcome back. Welcome back to Open Your Eyes. And we're moving now into our first segment for the morning. April, very interesting. Taiwan Believes Education Development Association. Yeah. And this is big because uh, there's a lot to unfold from this situation. Now, in with us, we've got Gary Huang. He's the president of the TB. E D A. Yeah. Yes. All right. So that's Gary. <laughs> Sabrina Liu is in with us. She's a leader of partnership maintenance. Yes. J T Young is in with us as well, leader of ITVET program. Okay. And Jack Chen. Jack is here with us. He's the leader of scholarship program. <laughs> Guys, good morning. And good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you know, it's nice to have you guys in. Uh, going over going over news items that you guys have been a part of. I I found out this is very important. And the partnership between Belize and Taiwan is one that we hold dear to our hearts, simply because we can learn from each other. Let's start off with the Taiwan, uh, Taiwan Belize Education Development Association. Let's talk about that. What is this association about and when did it come around? Okay, uh, <clears throat> actually we are a student from National Tsinghua University, which I think is a good one in Taiwan. <laughs> and uh, the group, actually, is a student group is uh, established from the Dr. Kieran Ryan, who is now the professor at the University of Belize. Mm -hmm. He went to Taiwan in 2011, and he established the group. And since then, we started our service in Belize. We started to do a lot of cooperation here in Belize. But, you know, since the pandemic, everything started from yeah. the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we cannot be here anymore, like for two years. But in Taiwan, we try to do something different so that we transform our student group to an official NGO. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an official association. Mm -hmm. um, so now we're here again as an uh, association. It's our first time being here in Belize. So we try to find more things we can do. We can do more cooperation here in Belize and make more people here in Belize know about Taiwan. Yeah. We have, uh, uh, like John Wright mentioned, a very good diplomatic relationship yeah. with Taiwan, Belize and Taiwan. A lot of our uh, Belizeans have gone to Taiwan to study uh, based with very prestigious scholarships, gone yes. to very prestigious schools, mm -hmm. um, and some have even stayed in, in Taiwan and called Taiwan home. Yeah. And vice versa, right? Yes. Our, your Taiwanese uh, students come to, to Belize. So when it comes to the Education Development Association, represented by you all, what makes your association stand out from all of these other entities that have come from Taiwan? Um, yes, yeah. you can take that. Go ahead. Yeah, so uh, this time we have three programs uh, new further than BSG before because before we are a Belize educational service group and we yes. work on like IT workshops and provide some computers to schools uh, in like Kayo district mm -hmm. and uh, Toledo yeah and also we have like high school scholarship before but now oh. we are extending our scholarship to like college scholarship mm -hmm. yeah, because we know more students want to pursue a higher education mm -hmm. and pursue their dream jobs Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we think this is very useful for them. And also we have like chronic disease program because mm -hmm. we know the diabetes rate in Belize is higher. Yes, yeah, so yes. we hope that through this program we can provide some education uh, about some knowledge and we have collaborate with like uh, diabetes association and also mm -hmm. hospitals to work on this. Wonderful. Yeah. So it's not just school it yeah. seems to yeah. be a, a variety yeah, it seems of to be wide rounded you know, well rounded as well and yes. Yes. I, I really and truly appreciate the fact that you guys are doing this but let's talk about uh, primarily uh, your feel of the Belize and education system let's uh let, you, you want to come in with that Jack tell us about your feel or what you've learned so far of the Belize and education system okay um I will start with the new program I conduct this year. Mm -hmm. For this year, I was re responsible for the university scholarship. And as we mentioned, our team have provided high school scholarship in Belize for several years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And due to the pandemic, two years we're back here, and our recipient talked to us that after they finish their high school, they want to go for the study in university yeah. and also I do some research in the internet the police government says that it was written in the police education sector 
It says that they are going to provide free education in the following years, and that means people in Belize may get higher education than before. Mm -hmm. And thus, if they want to have a more has higher salary and a more stable job, a university diploma is good for them. Yeah. And this is why we want to provide the education program in university. Mm -hmm. And then JT, uh, one of the most important uh, aspects of life here in Belize is that life of skill. We, uh, we, we try to rule that out as much as possible because imagine working in an office and you're doing your regular eight to five, but you are a skilled plumber, you're a skilled mechanic, which simply means that we try to, we're trying in, a, in this country to make the IT bit system as robust as possible and try to provide as much skill as possible. You're uh, in the IT vet sector. Tell us about what, you've, what you know so far about the IT vet in Belize and what you're planning on, uh, uh, on uh, rolling out here. Okay, of course. So the origin of the TVET program is that because of the pandemic, again, a lot of people are losing their jobs. Yes. So that's why we want to uh, cooperate with the local institution uh, such as SET in Coyote District yes. and also ITVET in Belize City. We try to uh, cooperate with, with them to uh, provide, to, well, we want to encourage people to equip themselves with the knowledge and the skills of digital marketing mm -hmm. in this digital area because we know that uh, a lot of physical face-to-face -face events has been wildly restricting. And at the same time, the digital marketing, uh, digital transformation has been accelerated worldwide. Mm -hmm. So that's why we want to collaborate with the local institution to encourage people with that knowledge. Mm. Mm -hmm. What do you feel is the importance of the IT vet system? Okay, so as I mentioned, a lot of people uh, they cannot do the face-to-face -face, uh, events, so we go to the online world. So that's why we want to uh, help the entrepreneur and small business to sell the, uh, their products online and also help the local institution to renew their own website in a lower budget. Mm -hmm. Yes. And let's talk about the fact that we are trying to rope in Belizeans to, to get on this program. Mm -hmm. um, you, have, you said that this is your first time in, in Belize. So what are you hoping to acquire? I know you've done your media rounds. I know you've visited different schools. What is the one thing that you're seeing that is necessary for students to understand about your program? Uh, okay. As an association, mm -hmm. this is our first time visiting Belize, mm -hmm. but as a student group, okay, before you've been, you've been here before. Here, for example, I've been here. It's my third time being here in Belize. So uh, I know a lot of schools that they're they agree with the everything here we do in Belize because, uh, as we mentioned, we do a IT workshop, we mm -hmm. do a scholarship, uh, we contact the principal, and they will tell us that uh, the situation about the school. Mm -hmm. They want to know more about what we can do here. Mm -hmm. So we can, you know, a school and our association, we just like do the cooperation. We uh, get the resource from Taiwan, mm -hmm. but the principal and the uh, every leader in the in institute, they need to use this resource to make their school or make their institute or make everything placed here better. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for me, so I, I don't think that uh, there's uh, any difficult thing for us to contact with uh, these people because we are just like friends, you know? Yeah. We know each other before, then mm -hmm. we're now here again in the family with us. So. We're just like doing the same thing as before, mm -hmm. but now we're in association. We can do this more sustainable. We can have, hopefully, we can have more efficiency here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about um, Qinghua and um, the various programs that you all offer and mm -hmm. how students can um, get into those tap into those scholarships. Yeah, so that's the scholarship um, scholarship program. Jack, can you tell us about that, please? The scholarship opportunities and the uh, programs that is, of, that is offered by Ching Hua. Hua. <laughs> or, or anybody. Or anybody. Okay. <laughs> so president. Yeah, uh, we used to provide a high school scholarship uh, mm -hmm. since 2015. So okay. 
to now, I think there's about more than 20 recipients, 24, more than okay. 24 recipients here. And I, half of them are graduated and some of them go to the high school, some of them join to the job market. So uh, we're continuing doing the scholarship for the student with financial issue if they want to go to the high school. Okay. Mm -hmm. But start from this year, we're doing something different, we're doing something extended. Mm -hmm. We will provide a high school student that go to the university, university for bachelor or for associated degree. Okay. If they are really interested in anything provided from Taiwan, mm -hmm. as you mentioned, we provide a scholarship for Belizean go to Taiwan to get a bachelor, mm -hmm. master, doctor. or a, yeah, mm -hmm. doctor, a PhD. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's really welcome if the student, they want to know the information about our Taiwan ICDF scholarship or our MOFA scholarship from mm -hmm. Taiwan. We can provide a, yeah, maybe some website, they can go search and they can do the research on mm -hmm. it. And we got our embassy here, right? Yes. So yes. if they got any <laughs> questions, it's really welcome. <laughs> so all of, but all of you graduated from Tsinghua. Yes. Yeah. So I want I want to know about you and your program and what you graduated with. So I want to start with JT. So what program did you at uh, did you attend at, yes. at Tsinghua? Okay, I majored in psychology and counseling in Tsinghua University, but I'm now uh, in the graduate program in study in human resource development wow. now. Wow! Yes. And that is offered at Tsinghua. That is in another. But I also have strong co cooperation with the uh, uh, with Taiwan government. So I have actually I have two Belizean classmates in my class. Oh wow, that's so great! Yes, that's so great. Mm -hmm. And Jack? And Jack? And for me, my major in computer science. And originally, this is also why I want to this join this group. Yes. Because when this group is recruiting, they say that they cooperate the school here to provide IT courses. And I think when I have the ability, it's time for me to fix that something to the society. Mm -hmm. So I want to dedicate my major and like teach some course and exchange the idea with people here mm -hmm. to sacrifice myself to the world. <laughs> That's so cool. That, that is, is so, so cool. Good. Yeah, and Sabrina? Uh, yeah, before in Tsinghua University, I majored in biomedical engineering. But <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, but due to I joined the international volunteer group, I found out my new talent. I think I can share my own thoughts and also I like to solve problems. So in graduate school, I studied business administration. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That is so it's cool. Just a, full-rounded yes. Uh, yes. individual. And, and, and then uh, Sabrina, uh, we're, we're coming to you in, in, in shortly. <laughs> I think Sabrina, I want to I wanna find out, okay, uh, you know, Jack just mentioned why he joined the group. Yeah. Why did you join this group? I joined the group uh, because uh, one of my classmates joined this group earlier uh -huh. and I found out like, wow, uh, she have fun and and she have enjoyed the process for this group and i think maybe i can try it too so she recommended me and i think i can take this challenge so i just came to this group and during the process i found out this is more meaningful and i think not just for um, experiencing but to help others and and to like um yeah i think it's really a nice experience for me mm -hmm. <laughs> and of course finally jack um oh, gary gary that's why we look similar. A lot of people just mistake. Hold the microphone. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of just mistake yeah. to offer. Yeah. <laughs> really? So yeah. what? Well, and, and, and your majors? Your your. I majored in biotechnology, and actually, it's like nothing related with education, but. Um, in 2016, this is my first time being here in Belize and I fall in love with everything here. Aww. You know, the people, the weather, the food, the beverage here, this oh, the best for me in my whole life, you know. I know so, you closed your eyes I when know, you said beverage. beverage. <laughs> 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 love it. <Yeah. laughs> I in biotechnology and now work in a pharmaceutical as a medical cell okay. representative. Okay. Um, the field is about the diabetes, so that's why we got a chronic disease healthcare program this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I found that the prevalence here of diabetes is really high. So I think there's something I can do in here. And um, so that, uh, as what I mentioned, the pandemic. So we transform a group. I try to transform a group mm -hmm. to the association. And, um, you know, I collect all the people here. 
everyone got their own mission. Mm -hmm. They got their anything. They got everything they can do. So I think we're really a strong team. Yeah. So we'll try to do more thing here. Yeah. What is the one thing that you all hope that uh, students can um, acquire through this through this association? Mm, I think that if they try to do something, you know, uh, now in the global we talk about uh, sustainable sustainable development goals. Mm -hmm. It's called the SDG. So mm -hmm. a lot of people in Taiwan they talk about that, but I think more and more in in the global. So if the student they are interested in this goals and they are interested to knowing more and more about the police and their believe that the relationship between Taiwan and Belize actually we got a really strong relationship yes. mm -hmm. if they want to join that they are interested in that they can join the girl excellent okay. so let's uh, we know we're pressed for time but finally for me is the scholarship opportunities how can one apply or what do they need to do to apply for a scholarship where can they go to apply for a scholarship mm -hmm. okay I will introduce about two kind of scholarship one is that for a student they want to study here in Belize about the high school, mm -hmm. about university, they just come to contact about our email. Mm -hmm. And actually, we will provide our proposal or application form to a specific high school or uh, university, like mm -hmm. uh, Sacred College, mm -hmm. like Gallen, like uh, University of Belize. Mm -hmm. They can just know it, any, know everything during there. Okay. What's the email? The email is like. You can search you can. on Facebook that is NTHU Belize, mm -hmm. then you will find our team's page. NTHU. NTHU and Belize. Oh, yeah. wow. And Belize. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. And of course, we got another re scholarship related, related to Taiwan, as I just mentioned. So if they are interested in that, they just go search or they can you know, figure out through the embassy. All right. So we're, uh, we're so grateful that you guys were able to join us. We had Gary, Sabrina, JT and Jack. Guys, thank you so very thank much. So and much. continue to enjoy your trip in Belize. And we're so grateful, so grateful that you guys are here with us today. Best of luck. Thank, thank you. you thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you All very right. Much. So we're going to take a break. When we come back, it's going to be about the little lighthouse walk. What is it? Who can take part? We'll talk about all of that when, when we come back. back. Stay with us.